Hello everyone, my name is Gleb Alexandrov for BlenderGame.com and today we'll talk about how to refine the texture that we've created in the previous lesson. But before we start, let's quickly recall the steps that we've taken. First, we've painted texture and projected it onto the geometry. Then, we changed the angle of the camera and did this thing one more time. But still, we have the surfaces which aren't affected by the projection. But fortunately, projection isn't the only way to do things, so let's try a more traditional approach. So let's go ahead and paint our texture in the image editor. It will be way easier than project stuff onto geometry. So let's export the UV map from Blender. And come on, we don't need to project things all the time. Ok, once we've got into the image editor, the process is easy. We need to grab the textures. And basically, what we want to do is to fill the blank space with them. It isn't the rocket science, just pick the textures and stretch them according to UV map outline. And I think that we don't need to finish the texture during this stage. Our goal here is to try to cover the biggest surfaces. And for the details, we'll use another technique, we'll clone from the second UV map. So, surprise, I'm gonna go ahead and create a second UV map. And after creating, click on it uh, to activate it and just start moving stuff around. In the UV editor, select the blank UV map island, press G and move it over to the textured space. Not a big deal. Uh, it's a very effective way to manipulate the UVs in the image editor without the risk of breaking the main UV set, because we are dealing with the second UV. And while we have the second UV map activated, we are good to go. So once again, what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the UV island, unwrapping it using Smart UV Project or just unwrap, and moving it over the textured space. And when we finish this stage, let's just clone it to the first UV map. So let's activate the first UV map, navigate to the Clone Brush tool, set the strength to 1, then pick the second texture in this rollout, it's very important. And then let's just reveal with our brush what we've painted. And of course, we can paint everything straight in the image editor, but it's always easier to just clone the parts of the map that we've already painted. And we create a second UV map to let ourselves don't care about the UV map at all because it's temporary and we can do everything with the parts of it. For example, we can just overlay the bunch of UV islands on top of each other and this is something that we don't want to do on the main UV map if we want to bake stuff. And we will bake stuff in the next tutorial, I hope. It was Gleb Alexandro, I really, really hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned to the updates, we'll see you next time.